Hey everyone, this is a video about my body modifications and tattoos, etc. Um, some of the tattoos I'm not going to be able to show you because I'm wearing pants. Um, the only one I won't be able to show you is my thigh tattoo, which I'll post a picture or something, or a link to a picture in the description. Um, but I'll start with my piercings first. So I have these two nostril piercings. They're a little bit higher than a normal nostril piercing, and you can actually see you can't really see. On this side I used to have my nostril pierced and the hole is like right underneath this one but I didn't like it that low just because of the shape of my nose so I got them pierced a little bit higher. They're not quite a high nose piercing which are usually like right up here. I would love to get those done because I really like how they look but I have so many sinus problems that I'm trying to like limit the amount of space being taken up inside of my nose. Um, but I have these done, and I have my septum done. These I got done at Pierceology in Columbus, which I definitely want to go back there to get my filtrum done and get a low bray done. Um, and my septum I got done in Youngstown at Artistic Dermographics. Um, Youngstown, Ohio, obviously. I used to actually have this done, and I got it done at Artistic Dermographics, and same thing when I had my nostril pierced when I was younger. And I had this done for a month but it was pierced incorrectly at Defiance Tattoos in Kent. Sorry, I'm a downstairs neighbor right now, I'm dog saying. Um, it was pierced incorrectly, like at an angle, like instead of going straight in, it went like down and like touched my teeth. And I already have super sensitive teeth, so like I didn't want to make it worse. And that's actually why I took out my Labray because it like made a little concave in my tooth. And I had to take it out for high school anyway, so. Um, so yeah, my septum I've had done since I was 16, if I didn't say that already. These I got done um, in September. Uh, yeah, in September, or late August, I think. So now I'll get to my tattoos. There's one tattoo that I'm not going to be able to show, and that's my thigh tattoo because I'm wearing jeans and I'm cold and I'm not willing to take them off to show you the tattoo. But, um... I'll post a link to a picture or something in the description. So I'll go from the tattoos that I got most recently. Um, and I'll start with this one. Um, this says, if I've become this way, I can unbecome this way. And that has the symbol for air and the symbol for friends. And the symbol for air is also the same. It, it also means transcend. Um, and this is a poem by my friend Lou that I got done at American Tattoo, what's it called? All American Tattoos, maybe? can't remember the name of the shop, but my friend Tim works there, and I, he did this, and he's an apprentice, and I wanted to give him something to do, and this is my handwriting, um, and I, like, drew this out myself, basically, and yeah, this is just about being in recovery constantly, and constantly checking yourself, and, like, I don't know, making yourself better for yourself, basically, is how I guess I would word it, um, so yeah, I got that done, in, I feel like October. I don't know. Um, I, I can't really keep track anymore. Um, another tattoo that I got recently that I feel like not many people know I have. Um, I got it done, I feel like in September or October, and I just didn't tell anyone about it. I just like got it. So the, the only people who know I even have it are like my partner and my friend Lou and like my roommate. Other than that, I don't talk about it because like I keep forgetting it's there because I never see this part of my body, especially during the fall slash winter. Um, so I'll show this. Also, while I'm here, I'll show I have another tattoo right here. But I got this beetle done. And that's the whole thing. Yeah. I got this done at I Heart Tattoos in Columbus by this person named Haley Slackerman. I think that's her last name. Um, and she's super cool. And this was off of a flash sheet she had of different kinds of beetles and I actually the first tattoo I wanted ever was a beetle that was like going to be my first tattoo like TM like in quotes my first tattoo TM um and I didn't end up getting it as my first tattoo uh and I'll talk about my first tattoo which is my thigh tattoo and like the meaning behind it and stuff um but I always 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 wanted a beetle tattooed on me as like specifically on my thigh I'm not saying I won't get a beetle tattooed on my thigh because I probably will but um, the second I saw this beetle, it's a rhino beetle, I was like, I want that. I want this so bad. Will you do it? And she was like, yeah, of course. 
so then I got it done. Um, I'm going to continue with going in order, because this is actually a good exercise for me to become more aware of my body. Um, so let's see, I think the next tattoo is, it's really hard to show this one for some reason, because it's on like a weird part of my arm, but I'll show it and then I'll rotate it. So it's a bat, and it says hang in there. I don't know if you can see, hang in there. It wraps kind of in a weird way that's hard to show. But yeah, it's a little bat. There's a little face. It's very sweet. And there's a little booty. Um, I actually drew this myself, and then I got it tattooed in Pittsburgh at um, Armature Tattoo Company Studio. I don't know. I never know the end of the shop name. Um, by my friend Jesse, who has done a lot of my tattoos, um, and yeah, I got this done in like June, and this is also kind of a note to self, hang in there type thing, like keep on chugging, um, and every time I look at his little face, it like makes me happy, and um, yeah, I drew this for myself, and hang in there is something that I need to hear a lot of the time, and it's nice to hear it coming from kind of myself in a weird way, if that makes sense. Um, I also just skipped my chest. I got this done in June, and then I got my chest done in August, so I forgot my chest. My chest piece is like one big hard thing to show. So there's a bee, a moth, and a bat. And I got this done, this was one of, one of like the biggest tattoos I have, and like I don't know, something that I wanted for a long time. Um, and I, I love bats, if you couldn't tell. Um, my joke is always like, I'm gonna get teeth, bats, cats, and skulls tattooed on me pretty much exclusively. Um, and that's probably gonna happen, like I'm anticipating it. Um, but yeah, this I got done because these are all my favorite pollinator like animals. Um, and I got it done by Lauren Vanderveer at Voodoo Monkey Tattoos in Cleveland, um, and it was actually really funny. I followed her on Instagram, and then I had no clue that she was in Ohio, and she, I thought her work was so good. I was like, oh my god, I'd love to get something done by her, but she probably lives in, like, the UK or something, and then I saw she posted something about being in Cleveland, and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, that's weird. I wonder if she's visiting Cleveland for, like, a guest spot or something, and then I finally read her Instagram bio that has been here all along and it said she worked in Cleveland and I was like oh my god I'm like 40 minutes from Cleveland I need to get something done by her so I set up an appointment with her back in like I think I scheduled it in April I scheduled a consultation in April met with her in May and then got tattooed on August 1st um and it was awesome and it took three hours and it was so painful <laughs> like especially like this whole area straight down the middle right on the sternum I literally I thought I was gonna die I was experiencing some primal feelings of like this person's trying to kill me I need to kill everyone here and run forever and scream forever obviously I didn't do that but that was what I was thinking the whole time um so yeah that was that so then I had, I had my chest I had this I had, what came before that? Um, oh, in May there's a Friday the 13th event. Um, for those of you who don't know, usually on Friday the 13th, tattoo shops do a special, some sort of a special. And I got this little, uh, it's really hard to show this without breaking my arm, this little like doorway with a staircase and a star done. Um, probably gonna end up getting this covered up just because it healed really weird and I think I'm allergic to like cool toned ink um because I'm fine with healing red ink like I have a little bit of red ink in my tattoos like obviously on this one there's two spots with red ink and on this one I have red ink and in my butterfly on my leg which was my first tattoo I had like blue ink and the blue ink just didn't heal correctly um I had a lot of trouble with it and this this tattoo has purple and it also has yellow. The yellow healed totally fine, but the purple ended up being real splotchy. And that's not the artist's fault. I think I'm just allergic to, like, cool tones or something. I don't know if that's even possible, but they never heal right on me, ever. Um, so yeah, I got this done in May. 
and it's really cute like I think it's super cute it just didn't heal super great um, and I before like after getting this done I had pretty much decided okay I only want black and red on my arms and on my like torso and then I want color on my legs or at least some color um, so that's another reason I want to get it covered up just because it's although it's cute and I like it um, I really do only want black and red on my arms but you know I'm gonna get it covered up sometime in the future but I'm not really planning for it um, and then let's see over spring break earlier this year I got this cat this two-faced cat done if you look up Franken Frank and Louie or Franken Louie um, you'll see that it's based off of that cat and this art is by Erin Greeno if that's how you pronounce it um, she did this art and then I was like I want this tattooed so bad so I bought the art print from her and with her permission got it done by Jesse um, from Armature Tattoos in Pittsburgh and I love it it's actually one of my favorite tattoos that I have um, and it just looks really good it's honestly just one of the best tattoos I have and I'm like really into this style and I'd love to get more stuff of this style um, kind of like morbid grotesque like weird animal stuff I'm into um, and then so that was over spring break. Let's see. Then there was winter break, and I got, this is also really hard. I'm just going to, like, sit up. I got this skull done. This is from a drawing textbook, um, and it's just a skull divided into three parts. A lot of times when little kids see this, they ask me, or not, they don't ask me, actually. Um, there's this, this, like, little kid that is a friend of mine's kid. And she was pointing at all my tattoos and telling me what they were. And she called this one a cow. But then she also called it a parachute. So I guess to some people it might look like a cow or a parachute or a cow on a parachute. But it is a skull divided into three parts. Eventually I'd really like to get something red put into this because I think it would look really cool. I've considered getting just like a diamond of red stippling around it because I think it would look awesome. And I really like red and black. Um, and then, let's see, November of last year is when I got a tattoo, so this tattoo's on my leg, but I can show it. It's, like, not hard to show, I don't think. Um, maybe it is actually. Uh-oh, it is. So, this is a Friday the 13th tattoo I got in November of 2013, or 2015, Jesus. And, um, it's just a little owl, and I think it's super cute, and I really like owls, and this was just, like, a really cute flash. And I wanted to get something with friends, so I got this done, and I really love it. And I actually think, I think Scotty bought it for me, which is really nice of him. Um, I think also in November of last year, I got this, how do I show this? Yeah, here. I got this lavender done with my friend Lou who I also did a split with. If you remember my split with Happy Boy, we have matching tattoos. Um, this was hand poked by a friend, Hannah. And what we did was I drew one onto Lou's arm and then Lou drew one onto my arm. So this is like a drawing that Lou did on my arm. And I really love it. And every time I look at it, I just remember that like I have Lou's support and it's really nice. Um, and... That was in November, and then I think this is the next one I got, which, this one I originally got, and then I added the arrow through the fingers earlier, like, this year in June, when I got my bat on my arm done. Um, this I got done in August of 2015, and ironically, it's like an Allison Weiss reference without meaning to be. I originally got it because I think I have really bad luck. And I was like, I need something to help me have good luck. And I'm also kind of superstitious. So I was like, this is a good tattoo for me. And yeah, but I also love Alison Weiss a lot. So I could be like, this is an Alison Weiss tattoo because Alison Weiss is realistically one of the main reasons I make music now. Um, and she's just awesome and very 
inspirational to me, and I want to get little like drops, like red drops of I, what I guess could be called blood, but I just want little red drops coming out of the wrist at some point, because I think it'd be cute. Or something else, I don't know. But I love red and black, so yeah, got that done in August. And then I have a tooth right here that I'll show you. Whoop. This was the second tattoo I got, and I got this on a whim in July, I think, of last year. Oh, and this tattoo and this tattoo were both done by Jesse and Armature Tattoo. Um, and yeah, there's like stippling, it's kind of hard to see, but I love teeth so much, and I want to get so many more tattoos of teeth. And I always joke, there's like this space in between the B and the tooth, and then one day I was like, you know what, I should get a couple little teeth in between there and then I was like oh my god I'm so dumb there's like a big tooth right here what's wrong with me um and yeah so I got this and it's cute and then my very first tattoo is a butterfly that's on my thigh um and it's specifically a morning cloak butterfly and it was my first tattoo and I traveled to get it done um I went to Asheville North Carolina and the tattoo shop was called Freaks and Geeks Tattoo Sideshow, I think. And um, I got it done by someone there named Lin Linnea. And Linnea is super sweet and awesome and does very cool, like, cutesy tattoos that have their, like, all the tattoos have, like, these little dots, like, um, not, not stippling, like, pointillism, maybe? I don't know what the term is, but super cool. And the second I saw their tattoos, I was like, I want to get my first tattoo done by this person. So I booked it pretty far in advance before I had even turned 18. Um, and then we, me and Scotty did a two-day um, like trip to Asheville, North Carolina. And it was like a 10-hour drive there and back. And we drove through the Appalachians and it was gorgeous. And it was my first time driving through the Appalachians. And it was awesome, and Asheville was super cool, and I loved it. And then Linnea was so welcoming and so cool. So I definitely want to get more stuff tattooed by Linnea, because, like, aside from loving their style, I just want to hang out with them really bad, because um, they're just a sweetheart. And honestly, one of the biggest parts about getting tattoos for me is having, like, a really good experience, um, because that experience can be just as defining as, like, having a good tattoo. Um, because, like, I don't know, a lot of people, for example, might look at this tattoo, and this was hand-poked, um, but I think it looks really good. But someone who's kind of, like, I don't know, like a snob about tattoos might look at this and be like, well, that's poorly done because I can see individual dots on that. And I'm like, yeah, but I got it done by a friend. My best friend drew it on me. And every time I look at it, I feel good. That matters. Not, like, necessarily how good the tattoo is or, like, whatever. Um, so, yeah. These are all my tattoos. I'm sorry I can't show you my leg. I'm just cold. But I'll post a picture. I'll f have to find a good pic. Um, but, yeah, I'll post a picture or I'll post a link to a picture in the description box. And if you have any other questions about tattoos, I would love to answer some questions because at this point I feel like I know a pretty good amount of tatt about tattoos, and I want to get way more tattoos, and I love it. It makes me feel better every time I get a tattoo. I start to feel like more like this is my body and you can't define it. Only the art that I choose to put on it can define it, and only I can define it. Um, and it's just really refreshing, and I love it. And it's cool having this much control over my body when... Growing up, I felt like I didn't have that much control over my body. And it's really, I don't know, life-changing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. Um, you can just comment questions and I can answer them, or I could have a whole separate video on tattoo questions. Uh, so yeah, bye!